Okay, so yesterday we were working on that 15 pound box. So this is part two of that box. Um, I took the box down and put all the rest over here. And we already went through these things over here. And I had to do some cleaning because there's a little bit of dirt in the box. So we scoured this area out and I got things a little organized. Okay, I got my trusty magnet here. And we're gonna go through some of this stuff. So we're gonna start with this piece because it's popping out at me, it's really pretty. It's like a Jamaican weaved bracelet. Nicely done too. It's beautiful. Oh, there's a little, oh, it's done on wire, which is really nice. That gives me like a sense that it's going to be very durable. So if you were swimming in the ocean and don't worry about losing it, but it's very nice. Very nice. And next up, oh, these are cute. This is like a, I'm going to move you guys a little bit because I feel my arm is going to end up bumping this and you're going to hate me for being, making you dizzy. There we go. Okay, this is just like a band of bracelets. <clears throat> Looks like no one has ever used them or they wore them like this and left the ribbon on, but they're kind of cute, aren't they? Nice green tone. Great for St. Patty's Day coming up. This is pretty. Nice matte gold. The beads are really nice. I like this finish on here. This is a New York and Company necklace. It's got the little NY. I like that. I'm going to put the bracelets over here so we can just see what we have here so that you can look at them while I'm doing this too. <clears throat> I think I did I go over this one yesterday. I think I did. It's a little seed. It's a vintage seed bracelet. So we'll put that up there. And I will be listing things. Um, today is the 7th of March. I will be listing things, all of this, on eBay today. So if you wanted to buy anything, it's going to be on there. Most of it. Okay, this is really pretty. I love this. Check this out. I'm going to lay it down to make it a little bit easier to visualize how it looks. Uh, of course, without this earring in there. Isn't that pretty? So you wear this one on one side and then this on the other side of you. I love this. That's really nice. And it's made also by New York and Company. Just a tag. It's very pretty. Okay, here's just a simple cream colored pearl stretch with gold, um, gold bars in between. Needs a little bit of a bath, but oh, that feels nice. It feels very solid. I like the faceted beads. They're acrylic, so that's not glass, but it's acrylic. It's, they look like glass, though. Those are cute. <clears throat> okay. This is vintage. Like, oh, look at these clasps. Okay, this clasp is a high to clasp. This has like a, a little sort of a hole and a little push pin. You push it in and it clicks and you're ready to go. So you don't see any of the hardware, which is very rarely done nowadays. So this is really nice. It is acrylic with faux, uh, I believe brass possibly, probably brass because brass was huge in vintage jewelry because it wasn't magnetic. Um, it looked good. It shined up nice. So, yeah. So, this will be on eBay tonight. Very cute. As long as it's good, wearable jewelry, I will put it up there. Especially if it's vintage. Because people really like it. I love vintage jewelry. <clears throat> this is a vintage piece. Let me see if it's marked. No, it doesn't have any markings. So look at the hang little hang tag on the end of this. Isn't that adorable? It's like a little half shell. 
So I'm assuming you would just go ahead through here. I would probably put it there. Isn't that cute? And then this is, oops, the wrong way. There we go. It's like a brushed, a brushed gold. That's really nice. Doesn't look like it has any wear on it. So that's really, that's really something. And it's really light. Super pretty. Okay, we have a, ooh, uh, <clears throat> a very vertigree earring with a really crazy, this reminds me of the 80s, a very dull toned. So I probably will put this in craft because this would be a really pretty, if you do those trees, the Christmas trees, this would be a really nice addition to your Christmas craft. I love that. Big, bold, and gold. Okay, this is the big necklace. I think I started to untangle yesterday, and I'm so glad that it did come out very nice <clears throat> because it's actually really nice. <laughs> and for, I'm gonna just say it's INC. Do you all know that maker? Is that New York In Company? I'm not really sure what that is. INC. So this is like a multi-layer <clears throat> acrylic bead faceted necklace. This part is, let me see, is that glass? Let's see. Yes, that's glass. Yep. Okay, double checking. These white ones may be, maybe glass? Oh my goodness. Okay, so everything is glass. The white beads are glass. The charcoal beads are glass. So this is so pretty. Look how that lays. I'm gonna just back this up. Move this out of the way a little bit. Lay it down and give you a visual of how it would look around your neck. So very pretty, very nice. Probably not the best thing here. You know what? I'll do this. We'll do it this way. I'll give you a visual here. <clears throat> I really need to work on my area. I have this tiny desk that I'm working on, and it's just not <clears throat> enough room. I have moved my monitor up off of the desk onto a shelf, and I still uh, don't have enough room. Okay, this is so pretty on the black uh, velvet. Look how nice this is. Like the facets are just gorgeous on this. So pretty. And then the hang tag is really pretty too. Super nice. So that's really nice. That was a really nice find. It was worth the detangling. Okay, here's just like a... This is a large bracelet. I would say this thing has at least three and a half inches inside. So if you have a larger wrist, this is definitely for you. It's got vintage faux pearls on it that look like they're cream colored. And it has some red beads throughout. The only thing I don't understand is Right here, they have a wooden bead. It does not match anything. And then this one's clear. So the, the pattern's a little off. Maybe they extended it a little bit. I'm not so sure. So this will probably go into a craft lot. Sadly. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Okay, here's a cute little bangle. Looks like brass with... I don't know what that is. It's not shiny. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's enamel. Let's take a look under the loop here and see what we have. You know, I have no idea what that material is in there. It's, it's inlaid, but I, I don't, I don't know. So I'm not going to put anything on this. My fear 
And I think this is a fear with a lot of uh, people who, you know, just for a hobby resell. I don't ever want to, not saying that this is ivory, I don't ever want to sell ivory unknowingly. You know, I just don't want to do it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean this up. So I have one of these polishing rags. This side is for uh, cleaning and the other side is for polishing. So one, and you never wash these, okay? So you never wash these. So this is obviously brass and it's shining up really nice compared to that side. Okay, so you can see my rag's getting a little dirty there. So this will shine up really nice. And that's basically what I do. And then the polish on the other side gives it a nice, a nice gleam. And it looks brand new. Beautiful, very nice, and it's very soft. I bet you that's really comfortable to wear. Okay, let's get moving here. These are one of those little spring bracelets that have like the miniature springs, but boy, I think this would really pull your hair on your arms. I mean, I don't have a lot of hair on my arms, but it would irritate me. Um, but it's cute, very cute. If you don't have hair in your arms, that's the thing for you. Now, check this out. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I don't know if I showed this yesterday, but I'm going to show it again. I have no idea what this is made out of. Is it a real flower dipped in acrylic and then tipped with gold? I'm not sure, but it is really well done. And it's missing like the stopper back here. So I've straightened it out a little bit because it was obviously banging around in that box and I felt bad. So this is super light. So I have a seeking suspicion that this is a real flower. Possibly? I'm not sure. So it'll probably go on eBay tonight. Okay, this looks like a dyed shell. Could kind of see through this a little bit. And it's got the seed beads larger seed beads and it's got the toggle too so this is nice style it up here this is nice for summer if you're going to a summer wedding and it's like outdoors isn't that pretty it's really nice cute my loop out of the way <clears throat> and this is really nice check this out zoom you in a little bit here this is real pearl and faceted crystal on wire so these are natural pearls so natural pearls are never perfect like they're just like this lumpy and bumpy and everything that I love about pearls so this is really nice there's a lot here and some of them are actually like darker pearls like the dark tones and oh the creams and the browns very pretty really well done the beautiful closing at the end here this is a bracelet so we're gonna go ahead and slip this over here that will definitely be up tonight <clears throat> I'm gonna Try to see, make sure that's not silver or it could be very well sterling. I couldn't imagine them putting cheap metal on a really nice bracelet, but it happens. So I just want to double check that. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this piece. We're going to go back a little bit. Pull you up here a little bit. Show you this necklace. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there we are. This is a long one. This is a, a lobster claw closure with, it starts to look like a bib. When I saw this, I was like, oh, it's one of them bib necklaces. But this actually is in a league of its own. Like, look how pretty this is. Every stone is there. 
I did wipe this down just with a baby wipe and it came out really nice, very shiny. It still has a lot of its original luster. So isn't that a nice statement piece? So I'm gonna see how long this is. I'm gonna guess it's pr at least 20, 22. Let me see if, let me see if I'm right. Okay, the shortest that it is, is 28 inches long. So this is a nice long one. Very pretty. I'll leave that in the background. It's pretty. It's just gold tone, but I really like the Rolo chain here and how it's continued here. But then we have a nice Cuban link here. I mean, I really like the, the, different, the difference of it. This is a really a great spring piece, don't you think? Mm, it's pretty. Okay. Looks like we have just a little... I guess just a little uh, stretchy bracelet with a little um, faux Chinese coin on it. Very cute. Oh, this is cute. If you're into heart jewelry, this is for you. Oh, look at this clasp on here. It's got the nice vintage style clasp. Right? That's sort of a hideaway clasp too. I really like that. Okay, and then you've got, I don't think it's on wire, it is on string, but it's covered in these, the string is covered with these long, long, skinny beads. And then this goes down into like this beautiful, this reminds me of um, like country chick western style stuff. And then there's etched hearts all over the, or flowers all over this heart. Isn't it adorable? Very cute. Sweet. Probably I'm going to put that on eBay. It won't be much because it's not real, but I think it's very pretty. I don't know. Did I show you these yesterday? Hmm. These were the ones yesterday. Yes, I did show you these. These were made in Japan. So those will be on tonight too. I love the luster of these pearls. It's just, I don't know. If there's, a, there's a lost art in the creativity and the, the quality of the jewelry that my grandmother and maybe your mom or your sister, depending how old you are, um, had. You know, they didn't buy a lot of pieces, but the pieces they bought were very good. And I think, I think there's something about this generation now that's trying to get it back to that. And that's why you see the surge, I think, in the, the want of the vintage jewelry. Okay, we have a little bit of a tangle here. Down here. So I did take this bracelet that I showed you yesterday with all these pretty pieces. And they're so beautiful. And I bagged them up because I really want to fix this. There was no maker on it. I'm sure I can do a Google image search and find it. But I think I'm going to wear this for spring. It is so beautiful. And the rhinestones in here are all intact. Which is saying something about being tossed around in a 15 pound box. Um, unsecured. So, I mean, I might be missing one. But, I mean, it's very few. But look how beautiful these are. Again, the amount of workmanship in this one was... It was a higher end piece at one time. So I'm going to try to give it new life. So we'll put that aside. I did show you this one. That was the Titanic necklace that I kind of, I don't know how I got back in here. I think when I was cleaning, he kind of just did. Okay. I watched last night, if you haven't seen it, um, Blessed Bobbles had a really fun video last night. I love Sherry. She's great. Okay. So we have a wire necklace with some real dyed, real shell, dyed shell. Kind of reminds me of my bracelet. Oh, this is sweet. Look how nice that is. I like the wire. It is quite short. I did try to put it on. I'm not, 
I don't care for 16 inch necklaces. Um, this one is at 16, so I would put an extender at least a uh, two inch extender on it to try to give it a little bit of length, but it is really nice. And it's stationary. Well, it should be stationary. No, it's not. It just has these two little beads. So I guess it's good that it floats around, but very pretty. Put that up there. I think that might be on eBay. I don't know yet. I'm not, I'm not sold that I want to sell that. <laughs> okay. I'll save my favorite. I think this might be my favorite piece out of everything today. Let's roll the drums here. Okay, look at this bracelet. Watch bracelet. This vintage rhinestone bracelet. I did check, none of the rhinestones are missing on this watch band. I don't believe, no, not one. I'm amazed that they're not missing. And then around the watch face itself, there are a few stones that need replaced, but that's so easy. Um, has a nice stainless steel back and the vintage welds in the back here so nice and they move independently of each other so that's that's a real plus and it has the old style clasp so when you fold it up i think i have a dear friend i might give this to <laughs> she really loves this stuff look how nice the rhinestones have a little discoloration just from age um, and I have not washed this. I did wipe it with a little bit of a baby wipe just to get the oils off, but I might try to replace the battery and see where we're at with this because I think it could use another chance at life. What do you think, ladies and gents? I think so. It's too pretty to hide somewhere, right? It's too pretty. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Okay, there's a little necklace from... Tell me. What is it? Oh. I can't remember the name of the movie now. Uh, I was just... I was just... Uh, Mockingbird, right? Mockingbird? I don't know. Anyway, it's, a, it's like a teeny bopper necklace. Probably bought it like a um pop store a nice the chain is really nice it's got the vintage style spring clasp but i believe it's brass under like a sterling coat or something but it is really nice it's in good shape too for its age and i don't think i'm going through these earrings and i'm so bummed out that this one did not have a mate Oh, it's so nice. It's a nice vintage feel. But no, sadly, there was no mate. But don't ever be just disparaged because you can remove this and you can take this and you can bend this down and you can make this into a pendant simply. I would never like toss it away because of that, but it's just like the workmanship in the in the corner here. It's just beautiful. My phone does not like to focus. So pretty. This one I don't know about. This one to me, it looks vintage, but it doesn't look vintage at the same time. It looks like it's a replica of a vintage pen. Still pretty. It's got like a embossed. You can see that. Yeah, nice and close. Maybe not. 
So yeah, it's very pretty. I mean, I would never say I wouldn't throw it out or anything, but to me, it doesn't feel as vintage as it should for this style. But if you're bringing back the vintage, you know, I just don't want to see things, the vintage stuff being reproduced and then passed off as vintage and not really vintage, you know. I think I showed you guys that one. I don't know if I've shown you this yet. <clears throat> this is sort of worn on the bottom. Someone wore this. I mean, really wore this out. But it is a... really well done piece it's it's just, enamel is so heavy on this and the stretch is so good and it's very i was gonna say it's it's old but i really like the way this looks what a cute bracelet i thought about maybe polishing up the back a little bit and then <clears throat> selling it as is with a little bit of wear on the back nobody sees the back right Okay, this is just a cute, looks like an anklet. I think I might have shown you guys this. With some hibiscus flowers on it. I don't know if I, did, I might have pulled this out yesterday. Yeah, I think I did this strange stainless steel bracelet, which is kind of, kind of heavy actually. Oh, this is nice. Oh, how pretty. Look how pretty this is. Let's put it on my my painted lady. Um, I, This used to be natural colored, but you know, because of the camera angles and the camera color, a lot of these natural neck busts show up as very grainy in film and on camera. So I've painted it to make it look try to like offset that so things show up a lot better on this um on the camera so this is just a cute necklace i'm gonna say it's 16 maybe 17 inches um very nice though very nicely done no wear at all on this look how shiny the clasp is so this is nice just going up there I should do this all as one lot. <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. When I have so much, I'm like, you know what? Let's just make it a lot. Oh, no, this is another, this is another nice piece from New York and Company. Um, it's on like a leather. Let's see if it's leather. Yeah, it's leather. And I believe these are natural hematite stones. Because when I put this on the gem tester, it shot up the spinel. Or, I don't know, is it black spinel? Hmm. I have a chart here. I recommend it to anyone who wants to know a little bit more about their stones. So when you're looking at stones, say for instance, um, if you have an opal or a, it tells you what little color is. So the black stones could be anything on this side, which could be hematite or obsidian. Obsidian. So when this is a nice gemstone color wheel to sort of guide you in the direction of what you think something may be. So if I have this and I'm like, hmm, is this jade? Well, you can go through here and it will tell you. It could be chromed oxide, emerald, garnet, there is green garnet, jadeite, peridot, sapphire, or tourmaline. Now, if you notice, tourmaline is repeated a lot. So a lot of stones are tourmaline. But if um, you can just do a Google search and get this chart, or you can just do a screen grab and take, take it and use it at your leisure. But it helps me when I get stumped on a particular stone and I don't know quite where to look. And I keep that next to my desk so it's always handy when I'm looking. So this is really pretty. Let's throw this on here. Let's take a look. Oh, that's nice. 
Isn't that pretty? So if you like natural stones against your skin, this is definitely nice. There's people that say that a lot of these natural stones have powers or I don't know about all that, but um, no, I'm not sad about it. Let me show you guys this one I saw yesterday and I don't know if I brought it out. Look at this pin. It's like Britain's version of America's pin. Like they wear this on their lapel. Look how pretty that is. And on the back, there's a gold safety, oh, sorry, <laughs> safety pin holding it on. Isn't that nice? It's quite heavy, but well, well made. Very well made. I kind of stuck it up there to, to keep it. Okay. We're back down here at the Tangles. This is a cute bracelet. I'm not quite sure what the symbols are, what they mean, but it's cute, got good stretch. And it has that brushed silver that you don't see very often. I kind of like that. It's, it's something different and it's not super shiny, you know, so it's really nice. You don't have to worry about buffing it. And this I put on my wrist, um, it was in this lot here. This is a bracelet made by people in Uganda, and it's, ca it's called uh, Bead for Life. And it's charity beads. Um, these are seed beads, some kind of seed in there, was a seed or shell. And I've been wearing it, and I really like, I just really like it, so I'm going to keep wearing it for a while. <laughs> till I get something else that I want to wear. Okay, this is the Lucky well, no, this is icing. Oh, this is icing. So again, icing is sort of like Claire's in the mall. Uh, I think Thelma, Thelma Thrift calls it mall jewelry. So that's basically what this is. But it's cute. You got a little snowflake. And you have a little cross there. And the stones, I'm not sure if one of them is backwards right now. Oh, I think this one is. He's tangled up in himself here. Maybe he's going to cooperate. No, no, he's not going to cooperate. Okay, so there's the gist of it. It's got some pink rhinestones and some white rhinestones, and it's a double, a double necklace. So you've got the shorter and the longer combined. I will. I think this is stuck on here. Boy, that's badly stuck. I guess I'd be stuck too if I was banging around in a box for 3,000 miles. I will untangle that. So, but yeah, it's just backwards. So cute. Keep that up there. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is nice. I'm not a big magnet person. <laughs> Magnet jewelry person, but okay, this bracelet, I think we showed that yesterday, that got tangled up in here. Oh, there's another one of these from the little icing store. It's a butterfly anklet, and the butterfly has pink rhinestones, and all the stones are there. That is super sparkly. Very cute. Looks like we have another anklet. Might have showed this yesterday. I'm not sure if, well, if you haven't seen it yet, it's new to you, right? So this is kind of cute. It gives me Bollywood vibes. When you walk, like how nice is that? Okay, this looks like a little precious, semi-precious gemstone on, I think, suede or velvet. This feels like, feels like velvet. That's kind of cute. Ooh, okay. We're out of the jungle here. Hold on. <sighs> All right. Look at this bracelet. It's 
see these two ends? Isn't that awesome? So if you're one of those people, like me, you get dressed and you don't have anybody to help you, tie your jewelry, well, there you are. This little gal will do it for you. Very nice, isn't that pretty? I believe these are, <clears throat> they look like faux, faux stones, but I'm not quite sure. I could turn the Presidium on and give her a test, but this will be on eBay. And it's magnetic, so it's catching everything. Okay, sweet. <coughs> Excuse me, time for a drink. Okay, <clears throat> that's better. Oh, this is nice. It's simplistic. Very nice. I can get it untangled here. Ha ha. That's why. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is carved beads, wood, and there's like different kinds of them. Isn't that just simple? Look at the old style of the hook and latch on here. Like handmade. I probably would uh, probably make this a little tighter somehow. I would, we wouldn't want to lose it, but this is really nice. I did show you that yesterday. This I did not show you. Oh, this is nice. This is a little copper elephant bracelet with like little lavender beads on it. Uh, doesn't seem to be a hang tag. I'm not sure who made it, but it's super light. It's very pretty. Um, that's just, I love ele little elephants. They're so sweet. I actually have a lot with elephants in it somewhere on eBay. Somewhere out there on eBay. So that's cute. And did I lose it or is it here? Oh wait, there's some more back here. Come on. Oh, these are nice. Okay, most people cringe when they see beans. I do, but if they're this kind of bead, I don't cringe. These were made, um, this is West Germany underneath this clasp, but way on the bottom. It says Western Germany or West Germany. <clears throat> this is definitely vintage. They're acrylic faceted plastic beads and they've got like this oil slick kind of bead at the bottom. They're really sweet, really sweet. Oh my gosh, did I show you guys this yesterday? Look at this darling thing. Nice wired beads. And I think, I think this is made by, was this made by? I don't think there was a mark on this one. Nope. No marking, how sad. What a cute pin though, right on time for Easter. Oh, this is nice. This nice green with this bronzy on purpose kind of color. This color was popular like in the early 2000s, late 90s. So it's like this, I want to look old, but I don't want to be old necklace. Very cute. Nice long chain too. Okay, I showed you one of these yesterday, popped out. Turns around, there's two. And they are clip. I think it's the only pair of clip earrings that I've seen so far in this lot, but Look, again, I'm a little suspicious on these. Look how shiny they are. 
Does it not surprise you that this could be from China? I'm not sure. They look way too new to be old. I mean, it is real glass, but there's just something about the quality in the area. Oh, let me get my pointer, Probably make it easier for you guys. <clears throat> there's something about the quality right around in here that just tells me this is not made in the United States or anywhere like Japan or anything like that. But what makes me a little fooled is brushed work right here that's very often replicated, very often seen on older pieces like this. And this scallop design right here is seen in a lot of the vintage pieces. But because it's so new and so shiny, I just, I just don't believe that it's, and it's not marked anything. So there's not a single maker mark on here, which is, you know, if it's made in, Japan, they're going to put Japan, so, or, you know, but this is just too new. So I'm not sure about those. That just kind of infuriates me a little bit on that kind of stuff. Okay, here's an, okay, so this is, I don't know if this is, a, this is a real vintage clip. Yes. Okay, so this is a real vintage clip. So you see the, it doesn't look new. The clasp is, this is kind of shiny, but this part's been worn off a little bit. These stones are set with prongs, real prongs. And unfortunately, there is only one of these. So I am going to have to try to make this into something or maybe I can find, who knows, maybe I'll hang on to it, maybe I'll find a mate someday. But these are all rhinestones, but how beautiful this is done. This is quality that was done 40 or 50 years ago, you know. So you look at the comparison. I mean, this just looks too new. Okay, that goes over there. All right. I think I have one more or two more pieces here that you haven't seen. I think I showed you this yesterday. Yes, I did show that. Okay, little neck, little bracelet here, cute, got baby blue colored stars on it. It is another like Claire's sort of deal. Um, but it actually says Cool Jewels. Cool Jewels. So that's an older company. I'm not sure what they made. I probably made a lot of beach jewelry, I'm guessing, not sure. Um, I don't think it's silver, but I'll give it a little scratch test just to make sure. There were, there were no, um, the only thing in this lock that was sterling was this old necklace, which I was surprised, um, it broke in the box, um, but it is sterling. And these beads, I'm going to test them actually right now, so we'll do that real quick. I think I might have tested these yesterday, but you know, when you see a... 15 pounds of jewelry almost weekly, sometimes twice a week. Things just tend to run together. Okay, you can see the presidium down here. I'm gonna see where it goes. So it's in the tourmaline family. Again, I think I did test these yesterday now that I remember that. But it's coming up tourmaline. Oh, yeah, tourmaline uh, amethyst. These are hard because they're all cut. I'm going to go ahead and say tourmaline. And it's touching the amethyst mark, but these are a little maybe too clear to be amethyst. So I'm going to say tourmaline. And that's why this chart that I showed you earlier is really nice to have. Because they are a pink red so anything in the pink red family like tourmaline let me show you the light because it's a little handy light here it's kind of nice to have but if you can take this across you can kind of see what i mean about the pink red very pretty very nice 
and I believe very old. As the old spring ring clasp. It would be nice to get it refinished, so maybe I'll work on that. That's a project worth pursuing because it is real. Okay, so if you are in the market for some jewelry, <laughs> there will be a ton of it on eBay. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of these pieces that you see all here on eBay. Um, a lot of them down here I'm going to be doing... Um, putting these on I've just got to go through and put them up and take pictures and do all that fancy footwork and then you can take a look at them so hey thanks a lot for hanging out with me today I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my day off and uh, get busy with this eBay thing and I will see you when the next box comes in okay have a great great weekend everybody bye bye <laughs>